Alright, so I thought I'd do a video of our routine for making the beds, changing the sheets. I try to do this every other week. Ugh. Bed lighting in here. I know I should do it more, but I don't. This is on my phone, so sorry about any quality issues. So we have a double pillow top mattress. And we got these from Walmart, set of four, I think they were like four bucks. They're cheap. But they just clip onto the bottom side of the fitted sheet and hold it on. Because sheets don't like to sit on fitted mattresses. Or fitted sheets don't like to stay on double pillow mattresses. And we both move around a lot, so yeah, they're a lifesaver. I even have them for my son's room. Sorry about the screaming, the kids are outside playing in water. So I'll show you how these work, they're really cool. This is how I do it, but put the sheet on, and I just put the mattress literally on my knee just because it's easier for me. And this little alligator clip, you put on the edge of the sheet, snap the top down, and it's on snug. Then you go over to the opposite end, you do this on every corner. And it's the same thing. Put it on. Put it down snug. So, when you're done, it'll essentially look like that. Let me finish up putting the fitted sheet on and the straps, and I'll show you the rest.
One second, that little girl is crying. She's playing in her brother's room. What's up, pretty girl? You playing with brother's stuff? Yeah. You're making a mess. You're lucky your brother loves you. You good girl? You good girl, mamas. Yeah, I gotta go make the bed. Yeah. You wanna come with me? Okay. So this would take a whole lot less time if I didn't have this beautiful little munchkin needing attention every 10 seconds. But I wouldn't have any other way. Really? So I make a bed that is technically, I want to say a 50s style because I learned how to make my the beds for my grandma. Yes, my mother taught me, but my grandmother was a whole lot stricter. And if you stayed at her house, you learned how to make the bed. And that's just how it was. So what I do is you'll understand all of this eventually. I keep the top sheet. You got the top sheet? Yeah, sorry. And the bottom, the fitted sheet. The top sheet, I have two to three inches from the top of the bed. And you make sure it's nice and flat and smooth. And then you tuck in on the bottom the extra sheet. So. Oh, sorry, I have nowhere to put a phone in this room. So I'll show you how you do that. How I do it is lift up the edge, grab the mattress on the underside, pick it up, and just slide the sheet under with my arm. And you want to make sure it's flat. Do the same on the other side. And then I'll show you how to do what's called a hospital corner. And a hospital corner is a very flat, neat corner. So when your blankets are on, they lay flat, they lay smooth. You take the bottom edge where the fold is, of your sheet, and you fold it up to the top. So it's you want it roughly parallel to the top of your mattress. And underneath, you take the top part, which is technically what was left from the back of the sheet, and you're going to tuck that underneath and then pull this down. So literally, all that's tucked in is just this bottom part right here. And you have, oh, it's hard to do, this crease right here. So, all right. And then what you do is you take the rest of this and you just fold it under. I'm a little out of practice because I'll admit, I didn't make my bed at all through college. I only really started making a bed like this again after my son was born and that was sparsely and then after my daughter was born I got a whole lot more into it but then you just proceed to tuck in the side up until you're about a quarter way up the bed so there's the top of the bed you're roughly Okay, I want to say it's about a foot and a half of sheet. And honestly, you could also just leave the bottom tucked in and tuck it in halfway. That's what I mostly do. Because I fold my sheets down and I'll show you. But then you do that to the other, same thing to the other side. So. Sorry, I got a lot of stuff. I need to clean my room. Alright, so you do another hospital corner, so you take your edge, fold it up, pick the mattress up, fold under the end, fold this under end, fold it roughly 
half quarter, however far you want to fold down your sheets. And then you put on any other blankets. We just put on our top blanket just because it's summer, it's hot. No one wants a lot of stuff on top of them. Sometimes this really thin quilted blanket here, that's, it's, this is thin. It's literally two pieces of fabric. There's no batting in between. Sometimes this is too much. So, you take your top blanket, your all your blankets. It's the same process. If you're going to put more blankets on, you do the hospital corner after you put all your blankets on except your top. So, it all sits nice. But, you take, when you get to it, you take your top blanket. Put it on so it's semi-even. So, how I like my top blanket, this is a king quilted top. You don't have a queen bed, so it's way bigger than it needs to be. But how I like mine is hanging a little bit on the ground in the front, so it just looks better to me. You do you. And then on the top, it's hanging over the edge of the mattress in it won't look like that for long I'll show you why but and then if you have any blankets you have at the foot of your bed we have this one then you just put that put that on how you want it and then I'll show you how to fold down the top how I get it at least Stop doing that. You're okay, beautiful. So, I always put this one on. It's hanging down a little bit on the bottom. It comes to the top a little. Aubrey, what do you have in your mouth? Kids. So if there's any kids out there, and I mean high schoolers that want a baby right now, let me just tell you something. You never get alone time. You always have them with you. I have two kids. Wouldn't train for the world, but if you're a kid, be a kid. Don't have one. She is adorable. I love her. All right. So the top part. We're going to fold it down about 
I want to say roughly a third of the way down the bed. Don't eat my phone, pretty girl. And you do that on both sides. And get it even. Or as even as you want it. Like I said, I was taught by my grandmother. She was strict. So when I make a bed, it's perfect. We used to joke that if you messed up her bed, she would skin you alive. And she probably would. This is a lady that survived the Depression. World War II. Hell, she was born during World War I. My grandmother was 90 years old when she died. And she just died last month. So, oh, pretty girl. Stop eat. Stop zooming in my phone, baby. Children, so fun. But she was strict. But we all know how to make a bed because of her. So let me fold this down, and I'll show you. I need to put a little girl down. You're okay, pretty girl. So when you fold down. The top of the bed. The easiest way to do it is put your hand underneath the sheet so you get it nice and even and it's not folding down your comforter. You're okay. You can be put down for a couple seconds. All right. So then after that's done, what I do is I will roll my sheet pretty much all the way down the bed. So then you just have to have it all straight, all even. If you have kids, take care of them. Because, yeah, it's fun. So, it's all straight. Sheets are parallel straight how I want them. I'm going to sit to my child. You're okay, Mama. Hey. Here. Play with Brothers Nerf Gun. So, you're going to take... The top and then fold it down again. Who's ignore the cry baby? It's her nap time. One sec. Oh, one sec, I gotta put this girl down. So, I filled down mine two additional times. So essentially, it's pretty much at the end of the bed. And then just put your pillows on, which I have a bunch of pillows because, hell, I'm a girl, I like pillows. They're comfortable. Yes, two of my pillows don't have pillowcases on them because they're king-size pillows. My king-size pillowcases are stored with my king-size bed. Our room's not big enough for it. But you just put your pillows on how you want them.
and make sure you switch up pillowcases because I'll get those. I just need to wash the other ones. But easiest way I have to put on a pillowcase. Yes, I know this is stuff is brain dead. Everyone should know, but who knows? There might be a millennial out there that doesn't know how to make a bed. It happens. I taught my son how to do put pillowcases on this way, so short arms or whatever. Put under your chin. Open your pillowcase, put it on the bottom, and just let the pillow fall in. It's easy. Or you could just do it the, easy, the normal way, how most people. You could also do it the old fashioned way. Yeah, that's honestly how I make a bed. It's easy, it's fast, it's a whole lot faster if you don't have a kid needing your attention. See ya.